Howdy. In this vid, I'm gonna show you how to purchase a proxy IP address and link it to the Dolphin Anti Anti-Detect web browser. Hey, I'm Bjorn Olsen from yourofempire.com and the Empire Forums, owner of the OnlyFans Empire, an OnlyFans management agency managing girls in the top 1% from all over the world, completely remotely, hence different hotel rooms and pets and all my different videos. Check us out at yourofempire.com or at yourofempire on all major social media platforms. But for now, let's get back to the video. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna be using Proxy cheap proxies, just heads up, they're trash. Um, I used to use them way back and I've still got a few OnlyFans accounts that are linked to these proxies and they still work well with no issues. But if you run these proxies through a um, fraud detector, what do you call it? Like a fraud rating detector, ah, no, whatever, through Scamalytics, um, you're gonna get some nasty results. So just a heads up. Um, also another heads up, the reason why I often use proxy cheap in these proxy demonstration videos is that you will notice, especially in like um, the OnlyFans management communities and stuff, people tend to like gatekeep their, uh, their proxy list. And this reason is it's kind of understandable. Um, this is because the proxies that are used, their quality is determined by the amount of people that are using them. So for example, if I go and use like a high quality proxy provider on my YouTube videos, and then I get big and I get massive and I hit like 500K subs soon, then you can see how a lot of people follow suit, use the same proxy provider, and their quality is gonna get worse and worse because these platforms that we're using the proxies with are gonna click on, they're gonna start thinking, you know, they're gonna start seeing that something's up. So that's why that I use um, proxy cheap in these demonstration videos. If you want a full list, um, you can go to, oh, hi. Um, but for this demonstration, I'll be using proxy cheap and then you'll get the idea. All right, so um, I've even still got some balance on this account and I plan to never use them again. So, uh, <laughs> so I'll just actually order one and you'll see what's going on. So, um, oh, here we go. The segment of the website is, there we go. You can tell they're not sponsoring me or anything, Eliza probably talk about them a little highly. Um, but speaking of sponsorship, while it's taking fucking ages to load, um, oh, there we go. Oh, I, enough getting sidetracked, I better tell you what to do. All right, so you're gonna go to order on whatever proxy provider website you're on. Now, assuming, well, yes, you're using the anti, uh, Dolphin Anti, Anti-Detect web browser, you'll be wanting static residential. I've made a lot of videos on this. You want static residential because static means stay still, residential means house. So if you get a rotating residential, then the platforms are going to be seeing a house address moving all around the place. And you can see how they'll go, oh, I don't know if that's right. So you want static residential because it essentially means a house that's staying still, which looks pretty legit, yeah? And then you can branch off. There's mobile, which is better. Do not use data center. Do not use data center. Do not use data center. Um, but these are expensive. That's for a whole nother ball game. That's for dating apps, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so static residential. So you'll select that. And then upon a selecting, uh, $3.50 a month. Oh, for a single user and never you've been used. Interesting. This is new. This is new. Maybe I have to use them again. Oh, well, no wonder the things are trash. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And it's never been used as a proxy on our platform. Interesting. They've done a few upgrades. Even the um, UI is upgraded. Interesting. All right. Maybe you can use proxy cheap if it hasn't been used before. Um, you know what? In this demonstration video, it's meant to be short and sharp, but we'll actually run a live, uh, we'll run a live check and we'll see if, see if they can put their money where their mouth is, eh? Um, all right, so premium proxy, you want uh, IPv4. Yes, that's right, I was thinking of Sox5. Um, hot tip, go to a Western, you choose a Western country um, because, oh, there we go, you, United States, that'll be good enough. Protocol, that'll be Sox5. Uh, authentication type, that'll be login, yep, username, password. Quantity, we just want one time period, just stick with one. And then normally you would go auto extend if it's for like OnlyFans or whatever. Um, but I'm literally just purchasing this just to show a demo. So uh, we won't auto extend. This is interesting, we'll run a live demo, eh? This is meant to be a short video, but maybe proxy cheap might be the go, we'll find out. We'll see how good they really are. Um, interesting, yeah. So it has been a while since I used this. Here we go, what have I done wrong? ISP, oh, internet service provider. Um, I don't know, Lumen, whatever. Whatever. Yep. No, don't want to use a credit card. I was hoping it wouldn't share my credit card details live on YouTube. Oh, it's yep, done. Go check out. Interesting. All right. We'll fire up this in the meantime, eh? So we'll go to Scamalytics and we'll see if they, there we go. So they'll be the top one there. All right. 
I don't mind showing all this. Look, if you want to go run off and use this, um, go for it, son. Go for it. Um, I literally purchased this for the video, so I don't give a shit showing all the details. I just want to show you how to do it. All right, look, we'll do the check later. I'll just show you how to do this, all right? So you're going to go down to authentication once you've purchased your static residential proxy, and then you're going to open up Dolphin Anti. Now, unlike some other anti-detect web browsers like Incogniton, um, you, on other anti-detect web browsers, you'll create a profile and then um, add the proxy to it while you're creating the profile, but Dolphin Anti is a little different. You can load up, oh, I think you can do that anyway, but um, oh yeah, I was deleting that. That was for a test look. If you want to use that too, go use it. Be my guest. The right? I was meant to delete that before showing the video, but um, oh well, so be it. You can see how much I care about these proxy cheat proxies. All right, so we're going to go uh, create proxy. Hang on, just because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, so the top left here, you go create proxy. And here we go. What have I done? Oh, yeah, sorry. I can't talk and, you know, it's hard. Uh, <laughs> and then the format we're going to use, because if you remember, we chose the SOX5 proxy, which is what you want to select. You will copy that, paste it there, just so we know, you know, the format, all right? Now, this is the um, proxy and port number. So you're going to go and copy it from here or your other proxy provider, because you can see there's the proxy and port number. So you'll copy that. And then you'll just replace this. Oh, technology. Now, you're going to do the same thing with login, which is going to be listed under username on proxy cheap. Curious to see how good this proxy is. They never used to have that option. Kind of proud of them because I used to use them back in the day. They're kind of like the OGs. Is that the username? No, oh, I guess it is. Now you do the same thing with the password. Um, see what that says there. So you replace that with password. All right. So that's done. Then you go add. And then you'll go click on it just to give it a bit of a tester. So you see all the details. Cool, 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 bro. Then check. Check detection active. Good start. All right. Now you've done that. So, save. Now, this is where you'll stash all your proxies. Now, to create a browser and link it, you'll go to create profile. Then you'll name it whatever. Say you've created an OnlyFans account. I literally created this separate Dolphin Nancy account just for YouTube demos because I noticed in the past I had trouble. I was trying to do demos while hiding all the models info and that. Um, so I just thought, why not create another account just for YouTube? So, um, for example, this is how I organize it. I'll um, like, a browser name, I'll often go OnlyFans and I'll put like model name there. There you go, active. And now, assuming you're gonna grow big, because you have to have confidence, you're gonna get big, all right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna include tags, so then it's easy to search down the track. So you have OnlyFans and the model name. So then in the future, when you have, you know, picture this, you have like 500 browser profiles. Then in the top right here, you just use tags. You'll get only fans and model name. Boom, and they'll come up. So that's why using tags, you're thinking ahead. Now you'll just leave all this as default. No biggie. Over here, you're going to go save proxies. And we're going to add the proxy that we just added, which is that USA one there. Then you'll scroll down, leave all that as is. No, no, no whackers, no whackers. Um, and then you'll go down. Time zone, no worries. Now here, language, because not all the countries you're going to select speak English, assuming you're an English speaker watching my YouTube content. Hello, welcome. Um, what we're going to do is you're going to manually select English. Otherwise, the browser, the anti detect browser profile is going to default to whatever language the proxy is based in. So for example, if you're using a proxy IP address from Spain, the default language that is going to be in all of your tabs is going to be Spanish. And if you're an English speaker, that might cause problems. So what you'll do here is you'll manually select English. So that will override that, all right? Leave all the rest as is, no worries, no worries. Keep going down, that's it. Now we'll go to create. Now, once you've got it there, see that? Beautiful. Then we'll just start it up, because you want to load it up, assuming this is for only fans, right? So you want to start it up, get it all fired up, and now you're going to like get the profile ready. Because assuming you've got chatters and VAs and that, you're going to get all ready for them, right? So you're going to go to, only fans, this is its own separate browser. So the whole point of this, if you're very new, is that you can run all these, you know, you can manage all these different OnlyFans accounts on them. And OnlyFans aren't going to detect that it's all come from the same device. That's the whole purpose of Dolphin Anti. So then you're going to log into the models, blah, 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 blah. And then assuming you're going to use another extension, for example, uh, Super Creator, another extension um, to help with chatting, you know, that monitors fans, spending and stuff like that, you will load that up. 
And then what we also do is we will load up a Google Drive. I'm not actually going to log in. But we'll also do another tab is we'll load up the Google Drive, which will contain a whole batch of scripts. Now, depending on what extension you can use, you can like pre-write scripts in there as well. But to save updating that all the time, what I do is um, I normally have a Google Drive folder opened up for each um, OnlyFans browser profile containing all the scripts. So then when VAs log in, what they will see is they'll see the OnlyFans already logged in. They'll have the extension, whatever, that will already be loaded up, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll have this Google Drive folder where they can access whatever script they need or even images, but you'll pre-upload the images to the vault, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and this is so they have all the scripts on hand. Now, there's another cool trick you can use is what you can also do is you could um, potentially give your um, VAs your login details to Empire. Of course I have to plug Empire. Who do you think I am? Um, and you can give them your login details, get in the login, and they can literally just troubleshoot everything themselves. So they could have your login details, log in if they have an issue, they can find scripts, they can troubleshoot themselves. Um, an Empire member actually brought up that idea and I was like, you are on it. Um, and that's it. So you'll notice that then when I go close this tab here, I'll say this browser profile, um, it will load up, make sure it syncs. Whenever you close, make sure it syncs. And then next time you go to start it up, um, it'll already be pre-ready for you. Um, imagine if it didn't do that, that'd be a bad demo, wouldn't it? See, so it's already ready for you, everything like that. So the whole point is, uh, I'm not gonna show this in this video, but the whole point is, is that you're gonna have all these profiles um, already set up, already logged in, ready to go. And in the future, when you start getting VAs and that, you're gonna create different um, users, give them their own login details, stuff like that. It does require a paid subscription, but that's cool, with um, Dolphin Anty. Um, and then they're gonna have their own login details and you will give them permission to access whatever um, browser profiles you allow them to. So it'll be like whatever model they're working with. And then when they open it up, it's already ready. It's got all the chatting scripts and the extensions and whatever. Um, so that's it, that's it. Now, I was gonna wrap it up there, but I'm very curious. So let's see the quality, eh? This is uh, proxy cheap, guys, if you're watching this, let's see how serious you really are, eh? So we're gonna copy that. Very curious to see what this forward rating is. All right, I'm actually very curious. No way! Interesting! They never used to be like that. Proxy cheap used to be highest risk. And I'll speak about it in the videos and I'll be like, you know, don't use it, don't use it. Uh, all right, well, you know that whole gatekeeping like proxies that I used to uh, set at the start of the video? I'm like, you know how people don't want to talk about their proxy providers? Well, there you go. I just, uh, I just dropped some sauce for you. Um, apparently, proxy cheap is actually awesome. Um, wow, kudos, good on them, good on them. Well, I guess they might be getting some more of my money after all. Well, there you go. And look, if you wanna be a Momo and go and steal those um, login details and the proxy, go for it, son, go for it. There you go, look, you go copy and paste. Cause you're gonna have a lot of um, competitors cause other people are gonna watch the video do the same thing. But, oh well, if you're cheap, go do that. Um, holy shit, zero fraud score, proxy cheap, you little fucking beauty. Well, there you go. Um, there you go, that was a little, consider that a bonus section, a bonus round. Um, and that's it. So that's how to upload a proxy, or sorry, link a proxy to a Dolphin NT web browser. Um, you'll see in the description below, I've got a link there and a discount code. So click the link below. So yeah, that's it. So if you like the video, please like, please subscribe. I'm getting a lot of people that are reaching out on like Insta, um, Telegram, Empire, and they're like, dude, I love your content, love your videos and blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, you didn't even like it. Like, help the algorithm, man, help a brother out. So uh, if you like the content, please like it, please subscribe, and I'll see you on another video.